What seemed nice when you were a child, but when you grew up turned out to not be so nice. I used to love to play office and shuffle around papers etc like I was at a job. Now that I actually do work in an office. Not so much fun lol. Yeah I loved all the office supplies and containers and the display desks of office depot when I was a kid. I always wished I had stuff to organize and put in folders but now it's all just so mundane. Getting dizzy. We had an uncle who was tall and strong and would spin us around one by one. We couldn't get enough. I remember after my spin. I'd just laugh as I couldn't keep my balance and watch the world spin. Now. I avoid getting dizzy like the plague. I spin my nieces around cause they think it's hilarious. Poor old uncle me has to sit down for a bit afterwards. But you better believe I'll keep doing it. Edit. Didn't expect this to go coco bananas. Thanks for the award too. This. I went on a ride at a state fair last year for the first time in forever. And it took me almost 30 minutes just to recuperate. Your inner ear goes to shti once you get older. I thought I was going to vomit several times but held it back. I swam in some bodies of water as a kid that seemed fine but looking back. Adult me would never get in that water. Edit. Spelling. God I feel this. I cut the webbing between two of my toes open on a clam shell as a kid in an area I would not even get in as an adult for fear I would die of septic shock just touching it. Edit. Webbing really was the wrong word. People think of ducks when really it is more a slightly larger flap of skin between my big toe and the next one on my feet. Money. Five dollars was like one dollar. Zero zero zero. Zero 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 back then. Now I get paid two dollars k and it's gone in bills right away. True story. Five dollars could get you from Catskill to Nick in 1996. As long as you were driving a Hyundai XL. Unlimited ice cream with no one telling me to stop before my stomach hurts. My most adult moment so far other than getting married. Divorced. Married again. And having two children. Is when I decided that I'm an adult goddammit and I can buy a chocolate shake and a banana split from Dairy Queen if I want to. I now know my dairy limit. When I was a child I was told that a lot of people would be offering me drugs. Now that I want to try drugs no one is offering them. Getting mail. If available. Get the delivery notifications for mail. USPS has it. That sends you an email every day of what mail you are getting. That way you can know when it is time to pack the car and head to the woods to avoid those bills. As a child. I loved looking at the lobsters in the grocery store. I thought they sold them to be pets. Imagine my horror when I found out they are sold to be boiled alive and eaten. My dad brought home lobsters one time. As a kid. It was a magical day. We selected the lobsters. Brought them home. And got to play with the forbidden creatures from the grocery store for a while on the kitchen floor. Then. We were sent out back. Because it was the 90s and that's what happened as a kid. And when we came back. Dinner was ready. It took longer than I'd like to admit to connect those dots. Earning money. Don't get me wrong. I like earning money just like everyone else. But it sucks that the majority of a paycheck can't be spent on nerf guns and legos. My lego collection would like very much to disagree with you. Eating fast food and ramen noodles when you want. Gets old pretty quickly. Found this out the hard way at university. Looking back. I think that's one of the reasons why my mental health took a turn for the worst. Being a grown up. I wish I could shrink down to the time I didn't have constant internal problems. High heels. It's not that they're not nice. Just not practical for my daily life. I always wanted to grow up faster so I could steal some of my mom's really pretty heels. I thought they looked like the prettiest, classiest things and couldn't wait to wear some. Oh. My god. The first time I wore a pair. I about wrecked my knee and twisted my ankle. Never mind the absolute agony my heels were in by the end of the day. FCK that noise. Staying up all night. I used to want to stay awake all night and play video games. Now if I'm awake past midnight. 
It takes me 2 or 3 days to recover. I regularly fall asleep between 3 and 4 am. Please help my IF get up sleep schedule. Capital D. Moonshoes. Those fuckers almost killed me like 20 times. But I loved them when I was child and was oblivious to just how dangerous they are. Truth. Also incredibly embarrassing when I told my whole third grade class I was going to get hover boots for my birthday only to find out they were just f king mini trampolines you strapped to your feet. I grew up in an extremely religious community that I only later found out had a lot of cult like features. There were a lot of things that I thought were normal or even kinda great when I was a kid. Turns out television screen isn't actually the devil's device that it uses to enter your body. The nice old men who offered me desserts and candy. You think I'm joking but I can clearly remember a few times guys would come up and offer me candy or giving me money for dessert and then winking and saying to meet in the parking lot. Was definitely not the smartest kid. Those handcuffs in my mom's nightstand drawer. That buzzing massage thing next to the handcuffs in my mom's nightstand drawer. Food from McDonald's. Growing up as a middle class child. Taco Bell. McDonald's. And other fast food were primo. Top tier luxury goods in my kid brain. Now. I'd rather get a nice meal at a sit down place. Which in this age is more of a risky luxury than anything else. Living on a farm. I begged and begged my mom to buy a farm and have horses etc. I have never even liked to literally get my hands dirty. Though a horse would be nice. I was cured when someone moved into the neighboring farm and everything they owned was dirty. And the kids always had to help out with something on the farm. I grew up on a farm. I had a hard time doing chores outside as a kid with my OCD. But now that I'm an adult I love the farm life and everything that comes with it. Eating a whole cake in one sitting. It was a dream. I should have learned from Matilda that it was a nightmare. My whole life. Cakes were reserved for birthdays and special occasions. See a yummy cake in the store? Maybe you can get it on your birthday in 2 months. A couple of weeks ago I realized that I am a full grown adult and I can buy cake whenever the hell I want to for whatever reason or no reason at all. It has been a good couple of weeks. Having big boobs. In elementary school I wanted to grow up to have big boobs because I thought that meant I'd be attractive. Now I'm fat with G cups and back problems. Careful what you wish for. I had triple DS. Got a breast reduction and it has transformed my life. Eating crayons. The blue ones still have a place in my heart. 3. The desire to be famous. I never understood why kids wanted that. I knew by like age 9 being famous sucks. Your privacy is taken away. Nosy busybodies entertain themselves gossiping about your private business. And you're recognized everywhere you go. You can't just be a regular person. My mom acting like a teenager friend. We thought it was awesome as kids. It's not so awesome when you are an adult. I hate that my parents are so emotionally detached. The most simple things like talking to me about how they feel and having a normal relationship is instead a grilling task of listening to their passive aggressive opinions. It's like I'm talking to a stranger. Disney. I used to think of magic and dreams coming true. Now I just think of copyright legal teams. Acquisitions of companies. Messing with Star Wars. And another streaming service to deal with. Not to mention the diehard middle aged fans who go to Disneyland every year. Those people unsettle me. Quantity, quality friends. Took a while. But finally figured out the latter is definitely better. Spending my holiday without any friends. Who even give enough of a shti to text back. I can have both quality and quantity of people who never return my messages. What the hell are friends anyways? Cereal. So good as a kid. Then between 14 and 16 you start to just feel all the sugar on your teeth and throat. Cheerios won't do that. Cheerios are loyal. Going on long outings or weekend trips to the beach or lake. As a kid I didn't have to worry about anything. Just take my damn self and my bathing suit and have a blast. 
eat when the food was ready and get in the car and pass out on the way home and wake up the next morning in your bed somehow. Now. As a parent you gotta do all the things. The packing. Shipping. Cleaning. Unpacking. Cooking. Carrying the kids from the car to the house. It's exhausting. Never thought about that as a kid. And hey. I'll keep doing it because my kids have fun and so do we but man. There's a lot of shti that goes with those trips ha ha. Adulthood. Sure. It has got its perks but I would have enjoyed childhood a lot more. Had I known that being an adult also sucks a lot at the time. Snow. I never got to see it much as a young kid but now that I'm older I wish we didn't have snow because I'm the one who is forced to shovel it all the time. It sucks. Eating whatever you want. I wish someone was telling me not to eat a whole box of popsicles for breakfast. No one is here to stop me from getting extremely unhealthy. I'm probably much too late. But. Don't eat a whole box of popsicles for breakfast. Going shopping for groceries. I thought it was some revered job of high importance and that he who picks the food is that of a god. And gushed whenever I was allowed to pick something out. My first time going to the store by myself to buy milk or butter I expected to feel like a king. These days. After I get home from a long day and open my fridge to find nothing with which I can make some sort of meal out of. I grunt before grabbing my keys to drive the mile and a half of road to the store to buy something. Watching porn without incognito. I was a dim child I didn't even know what that was. Back in my day we watched porn by downloading the clips over 56k connections and watching them with real player and quick time. Took 45 minutes to download a 45 second clip. Life. Water parks. Amazing how you're able to ignore the floating band-aids and diapers as a kid. The wave pool was still dope. Christmas. I couldn't wait for it as a kid. Now I can't stand it. 1000% I do not like Christmas as all and activity try to get out of it. But I think if I ever have kids it will be fun again. Life in general. I thought it would be fun. And now it's nothing but absolute pain and torture. I hear that loud and clear. Fireworks. Now I want to sleep and not have my dog freak out for hours. Birthdays used to be a fun time of year celebrating that all the new things that you could do. Now they remind me of how little time I have left on this planet and that I won't be able to do all the things that I wanted to as a child. Like you know find out if there is a cutscene if you collect all the Pokemon Yellow Edition on the Game Boy and whatnot. I try to think of it as a marker that Jay survived. I had a traumatic teenagehood and was suicidal for a long time. Having a birthday is so incredible to me now because it means I'm actually still alive. Being a girl. NGL being a girl is still kind of rad except for when I have to deal with men. Which sadly is still almost all the time. Stroke. Staying up late. I don't know what I thought happened after midnight but I learned by 3am that it wasn't worth staying up to wait for. As a teen I thought it was so fun to pull all nighters watching YouTube series and shti then rock up to school half dead. No care in the world. Only in my mid 20s now and I feel like I need 3 full days to recover from it whenever it happens. Actually in my opinion everything became way better than expected. But my childhood was also very hard so I'm glad that I can enjoy live now. Having a large house and yard. Seemed cool as a kid. But as an adult it's a lot to clean and do tons of yard work or pay someone to do it. I've never had a house with a yard. As a child I was envious of American houses with yards. As an adult I can only think it's more and more chores. Buffets. This needs more attention. As a kid. You feel like you just walked into heaven. As an adult. I can't enjoy anything because I know too much. Online random chat sites like Omegle. I actually use Omegle to increase my typing speed. I came up with some choose your own adventure style stuff that I use. When I find an actual person who is willing to play that is. It can be a lot of fun and it forced me to go fast because most people don't have patience to wait for slow typing people. 
I remember in third grade I was selected at random in my class to dress up an electronic pig and make them compete in a hula hoop elimination fight. Pigs were placed in the ring. And the first pig out of the hula hoop lost. It seemed like two kids were selected from every class and every grade in the elementary school. Me and my partner battled other pigs for a few hours and eventually our pig actually came out on top and won the entire contest. For our victory we were given an all expenses paid trip to Wendy's in a limousine. Edit. I posted this from a new account I made that's safe for work. That's why it's the first post I've made. I'm happy to see I'm not one of the only people who have this sort of memory from childhood lol. This is kind of the reverse of your question. But getting practical stuff for Christmas. Like as a kid it was all about toys but now I love getting new t-shirts when I need them or an extra desk organizer and maybe get an occasional special something that pertains to my hobbies. But mainly I like getting stuff that I really need will use. All the touching from adults. What? Touching from adults is way better as an adult. Sleeping on the couch. My mom's brothers turned out to just be racist assholes. They were fun till I was an adult and I understood the world. Cool parents that let us children have anything under their nose. They were neglecting my friend. Getting mail. As a kid you think it's all postcards and pen pals. Till you realize it's just bills. Junk and bad news. Religion. A lot of desserts and snacks that are a big deal for kids taste like a vaguely sweet paste as an adult. Or airy crunchy nothing. Just bland and sweet. Recently. I had a good humor brand Reese's ice cream bar and one of those long plastic snack packs with the breadstick crackers and cheese was thing. It was like a La Croix. I kept biting into it and all I got was like yeah I think I can see how they were going for a hint of an inspiration of something in the neighborhood of a dairy flavor here. Major letdown for both. Spanking but the other way around. Same with naps. I think candy or sugar filled stuff because back then I could eat a ton and not feel poorly but now if I eat something like that I feel gross I'm away. Walt Disney. Came here for this. That mouse is evil. This isn't really when I was a child. But in high school I loved getting drunk with my friends. I love to get drunk while in college too. Now I can only stomach one or two beers a week at most. The idea that my parents were the world to me and I had to live up to their expectations. When really. I should live my life the way I want to and make myself happy. Fireworks. But now with an infant and a scared dog 4th of July is my least favorite holiday. I can't stand it when people light them in the middle of the street in a neighborhood. I get 4th of July. And sure fireworks are the thing to do. But dot do them until 3 a.m. every day of the week. Spend your money on something smarter. Milo and Otis. Dot. Loved that movie as a kid. Until I found out about the animal abuse. Washing dishes. It seemed so fun when I was younger. Who would have known it was a trap? This certain line in Macarena. The line is if you're good then I'll take you home with me. I always thought that she was a really nice woman who would be my mother. But you know. That's not the case. American history. Before you flame. I still think America is a great country. And furthermore it's been great as shti for me. Really and truthfully never had a hard day in my life. But. I remember history classes as a child being all peachy keen. I'm a history buff. And when you actually learn about it so messed up stuff happened. Learn history y'all. Cox. I weep for my ruined mouth but my dentist is all get you ass in here. Girl. We still got a dozen root canals you need done. Double quote. People. Especially adults. I always thought they were smart enough to be nice and understanding. That turned out to be very untrue. Edit. There are definitely still a lot of nice people. I just thought everyone would be nice. Driving. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy it. 
but it's also a death defying stunt just to get to the grocery store and your life could be snuffed out by an idiot that did the wrong thing even if you don't make a single mistake.